Oh, okay. I got needled immediately. That was Wait. Me. It was me. Like, it was me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I looked over at your screen because I have your, your gameplay a second behind me. And I just watched you absolutely destroy my back with needles. What's up, everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman, and welcome to Never Played, presented by Cheese It Grooves. So, Hail Infinite is delayed, and that effectively puts Master Chief's next adventure on hold. So, I thought that this would be the perfect time to jump back into the Halo campaign, but I have a little dirty secret which is that I have never played the Halo 4 campaign. So Secret is out, but before any of you come and yell at me and all that jazz, just know I'm a huge Halo fan. I just would rather play big team battle or team SWAT or, you know, jump into some matchmaking, then check in on our dude, Master Chief, until today. And I even have a very special guest to come join me in my campaign playthrough, which is Bravo. Hello. Sid, what's up? Super happy to be playing uh, some campaign with you. And it, it feels like it's only fitting seeing as you and I met actually at a Halo event a few years ago. We sure did. It's come full circle, like a Halo ring, if you will. Oh. I will, yes. Oh, are you excited? You're going to be playing the whole campaign with me? There's more of that in store. Uh, but <laughs> Bravo, why don't you just give us a little bit of background on yourself? Sure. Uh, yeah, Halo has been kind of not only my biggest passion throughout my life, but it's also been really uh, the center of my entire career. So um, my Halo story starts probably the same way yours does. And a lot of this uh, way that a lot of our people watching will kind of relate to as well, essentially big team battle on, on blood Gulch and, and, and the Halo one campaign is really where I got my start. Um, after that, I was uh, able to spend a few years competing, starting in Halo two, and then it eventually went on to creating content on YouTube and Justin TV before Twitch. And then, um, yeah, I was really lucky to work on the franchise for about six years up in Seattle. And since then have, have gone back to creating content around Halo and also commentating matches and things like that. Uh, but I'm excited to jump into some, uh, some co-op with you today. Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly you are the perfect person to be doing this with me and I have tons more questions for you about just lore and Easter eggs and all that jazz, but I will wait because we have a campaign to play. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it on legendary on legendary it's the only way Sid. it's the only way the only way to so do let it. me let me get this straight as we load in you have never played the halo 4 campaign or spartan ops right no i have never after halo 1 2 and 3 i just was kind of uninterested in continuing the campaign i don't know okay I well just... here we here we go i'm gonna so let you watch it's going dr halsey okay so i did read Fall of Reach. Okay, so you, and yeah. I feel if like you, I'm like you, so I feel like I'm somewhat understanding. Oh, what's happening if you read right Fall now. of Reach, you are so golden right now for sure. Yeah, yeah. This interrogation then is uh, like y'all you'll understand exactly what's going on here. Cool. So that is something that I heard. I've heard about the Halo Four campaign, which is that a lot of the like extended universe material was mm -hmm. very was. I don't know. You tell me. Was it like very important to understand what's going on in the campaign, or was it more just like it really enriched uh, the yeah. game? I would say having that backstory definitely helps. I, I wouldn't say it's essential. Um, okay. I, I think you could still really enjoy this, even if uh, you did not read a lot of the the, the backstory content, or mm -hmm. also uh, like a lot of the content that came that's related to um the origin of halsey's work and things like that but um there's a few things i'll talk about like the terminals that are in the game that will give you a little bit more background as well i also can't remember the last time i did like a legendary run in co-op here we go yeah i don't remember at all either <laughs> here's our guy our guy one thing that's fun to mention up front is this is um steve downs and Jen Taylor's first time recording together ever. Um, so we look up here and you can break that hatch. Breaking the hatch. I'm just like really excited to be playing a Halo campaign right now, to be I honest, know. like I'm a little distracted. <laughs> yeah, me too, but uh, the, let me break my hatch too. This is uh, Steve Down and Jen Taylor, um, voices of chief and cortana their first time recording together in person in the whole history of the franchise uh every other halo 1 halo 2 halo 3 were done all in their own sessions so for that reason it's like both of their favorite 
um, games. And, and you kind of, I think you hear that really in the, in the voice recordings, but I'm going to let you lead. I'm going to let you take the wheel. Okay. And I'm gonna follow. Okay. So I, again, I haven't played even the original campaign since I was like a child. Mm -hmm. um, so I might just have, oh, hi. Ah! Wow. I just couldn't imagine being Master Chief and jumping up this thing and then having an elite in my face like that. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll let you grab this Magnum if you want it. Uh, so that's an important thing, though, that we should mention. Um, so obviously Chief was uh, very confused, saying I uh, thought we had a truce with the Covenant. Um, and it, that, it's kind of... Uh, We'll, we'll revisit that many times throughout the uh, franchise. But this this first elite down there, I'm not going to shoot yet. You can go up and probably get the assassination on him. I think even on legendary, and then we can uh, start start killing some aliens. Oh, oh. he turned around. Nope. Let's kill him. He was very ready for me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have enemies uh, all around below. We can kind of hold this high ground and just start raining down on them. Okay. Mostly good. grunts. There might be might be might be one or two more elites. I'm trying to. There we are. There. We are. All right, this side's cleared. Little grunts. I have two more over here, but they're down now. Yeah, and I'm, we, 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 I, I really love my Magnum, and I'm out of. It's out of. Uh, One thing. Ammo while, now. while we, uh, I'll let you hit this override. It's going to be up here on top of this platform. Okay, um, sweet. But the one other thing that's kind of cool, right off the bat, after you hit that, I'll show you. If you go to the computers, yeah. Blast controls open. One thing that's kind of cool, the Halo 4 limited edition box is actually right here on the floor. If you take a look. Oh, actual, that is cool. Yeah, the same, uh, the same box that the cool LE touch. shipped in. Yeah. Oh, I thought oh. we were done over here. Oh, oh I, I, I died here. I jumped down. There's Can those I... guys on the bottom. If, if you go to oh, the top. Oh, shoot. I see exactly what you're yeah, talking about yeah. right now. Uh, go to the top again, and I might be able to respawn up top of there. We'll see if it uh, gives us no enemies nearby. But I was too overzealous. Okay. You might have to fight this one. No, I feel that. You do this on purpose? Are you like trying to test my? Maybe. Test me. <laughs> Maybe. Now I now I just get to watch. I have to say, it feels really good to be back playing a Halo campaign. Oh sweet! This you got me nice. respawned. Nice back. There's, it says there's somebody below me though. Oh, there that was, we go. There's one that more. Was our, that was our first test. We're good. Test. I passed. Look at you, the legendary solo run. I was going to say, there's so many things, there's so many new things. Don't hit that door yet. There's so many new things to to talk about. So many enemy types we're going to encounter. So many new weapons in Halo 4 as well. So as you pick up things and or as you see things, feel free to ask about them. But there's going to be maybe a an elite or grunt or two. We'll focus fire this elite maybe first. There we go. Oh, my gosh. I got nailed with a grenade. Did you? Did you? Oh, okay. I'm coming back up in two, one. And after this level, I'm going to pass might... off this cat to my husband. Oh, you spawned, oh my, oh my God, gosh. I you, st a <laughs> you spawned on a grunt grenade. I got to say, the grunts are like I'm playing, feisty. Uh, Whether they're suicide I'm grunts. Call of Duty with those respawns. Um, those grunts are feisty. So I have like a thing to admit, which is I have a huge soft spot for grunts. Of course, I who think doesn't? They're just like so misunderstood and they're just <laughs> like here to have a good time. And I feel kind of guilty killing them. <laughs> so this is an important line. Chief says these covenants seem more fanatical than the ones we've fought before. Um, because if you think about post Halo Three, um, you know, having the covenant having lost the war after kind of having everything. Um, obviously, at the mm -hmm. end of a, a war like that, the covenant just doesn't just go away. You instead get these different factions that splinter off. Um, oh my oh, gosh! I you got, got stuck. stuck again. These grunts are That's like, right. <laughs> They are no joke. Don't worry. I stuck the elite uh, in, in, in and, and got vengeance. Let's see. Whoa! I got pushed. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That that next one. Oh, this is spicy. I've died like a lot. and <laughs> We're just beginning. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's oh, come on. It, uh, it, it, it's all right. I think dying on a legendary run is all good. We just got to make sure we one of us stays up. Right. And you already, like I said, you already passed that first test of flying color. So pass the test. That's all I wanted. Sorry, Grunties. Oh, there's glass um, there. There's glass. <laughs> There's glass. The glass is so clean, you can't even tell. Right? It's like those like Windex commercials. God, I gotta say, it is after having played who I might I might die here. One sec, suicide grunt. Behind you, behind you. Um after you know, after playing quite a bit of legendary solo campaign in my day, it is amazing to have you by my side. I don't 
I'm trying to think. No, I did play at least one of the campaigns solo. But Halo for me was always such a bonding thing with my brother and my dad. Right. That I actually I played most of those campaigns couch co-op. Uh, we can keep charging to the left here. Let's just like, like brute force this. Okay. Uh, there's gonna it. be one more elite, I believe. Oh, that guy's dead. One sec. Okay, I got nice one. Shot, nice there's, job. Nice job. I'm getting shot from behind. One more oh. jackal there. Hey. Nice. nice. Uh, you can hit that launch button. Hit that launch button. So oh. one more, one thing. We're we're gonna get some some bad news in just a second here. Uh, is the bad news that I'm pretty much out of uh, BR ammo? Uh, me too. I just um, got that one. Two things that I'll go back to. The Plaza Pistol, two things in Halo 4 that are different. One is that as you're charging, it depletes super fast, um, like faster than even that it did previously. Because the one thing we uh -huh. have to do is hit this objective. Let's try to hit this route. We only have to kill a few things. And I think we can, one of us can just fly in to hit the objective rather than having to take all these fights. Um, Copy, sounds good. All right, so is it me or you? Which, which one of us is going in? I'll fly in. You're, fl you're flying in that I'm objective. Okay, take, yeah, take the right route. I'll cover you, and you just got to get to that objective and hit the action button, and you should be good. I'm covering oh, you. Really? Get in there. Get in there. You got it. You got it. I yes. got it. I got it. We're Honestly, we, we're we're both we were both about to die. We were both about to die. That was perfect. And I just... Halo 4. That title sequence. Where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family. Your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years? AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. That's crucial information. <laughs> Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. Okay, wow. Well, that definitely adds to our plate of to-do things. Yes. Um, so with all of that happening, I think we should take a quick break and reset presented by Cheese It Grooves to kind of, you know, unpack this. So why don't we do just that? I will pause the game. Alrighty, so let's just, there's a lot being thrown at us right now. Um, so we learned AI apparently only has seven years to live, which I didn't realize is a thing. Do you know if that's just like specific to the Halo universe or is that just like a big sci-fi thing that I, I don't I, know? I don't think it's a big sci-fi thing. And I think actually within right. different AI types within Halo, you have very different um, lifespans. Life so span. I think through this and the extended lore, you learn about Cortana's lifespan. But if you look at other AIs, just to throw out the most notable examples, Guilty Spark, et cetera. They're going to, I think, have a very different lifespan. There's also more that we will learn about Cortana that could impact that as well. Um, so, but yeah, okay. of course, as you said, very important info for, for, for our timeline right now. Very important info. Yeah. Seems like a pressing issue. Um, but okay, I won't ask too many more questions. I'll hold my Cortana questions then to see if maybe we learn some things. Um, but then I'm just, I'm loving, we talked about it earlier, but how the levels are echoing Combat Evolved. Yeah. And I have really, really high hopes for this next one because the second mission in Combat Evolved is my favorite Halo mission. Um, I think a lot of that is packed with nostalgia and what that mission means mm -hmm. to me. Um, but regardless, I'm excited to like play its cousin Oh, totally. I think coming out of that escape pod, there's a there's like a moment that all of us had coming out of that escape pod uh, on the level called Halo and Halo Combat Evolved, uh, where you're just looking around and you have this awe and this wonder. And I think it's a, it's a moment that not only do Halo fans talk about, but the game's industry has talked about for a long time. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, those are there were, I, I can only imagine um, intentional narrative design decisions and and stylistic choices. And uh, yeah, so now we get to go find out what's going on wherever we just landed. Uh, Sid, before we go any further, though, I have to ask you, is that a chief helmet that you have in the back, if I'm squinting correctly? So it totally is. Here, wait, let me get him. I call him Master Cheese it One second. Oh, watch out. I had a feeling it was a chief helmet. Let's 
see. So we have Master Cheese It, who actually Max Whoa. Scoville made Looks this for awesome. me. I know with the texture and everything, he did all of that. He found out that we were doing this and he whipped one up and sent it my way. Look at so, that visor too. Right? Like the visor. That's sweet. All that. I, I The texture is really, that attention to detail got me. And there's some like paint splatters and what? there's some roughage back here. So like I can't, some, I can't help but sense. notice that you got one of these and I don't have one of these. You're going to have to hit Max up for that. All right. Taking I, orders. I will. Max, I'm coming. I want, Here, I'm going to put this back one sec before we get started. All right. I need one of those. All right. Let's do this. We've crash landed. We have. What a familiar uh, place for Chief to be. It's true. It's, uh, yeah, as we said earlier, it wouldn't feel right without a, without a little bit of a crash land. Let's go this way. There's a little bit of ammo, but there's also, I believe, a log entry just this way. Oh, wait. And there's an, I forgot that this guy was here. I think he's a, he's a little bit I'm disheveled, sorry. right? He's kind of. Oh, I felt, that felt really, oh. Yeah. You just started shooting right away. I did. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what was happening. It <laughs> happened too fast. It's okay. You've been trained for decades. Uh, here's a research expert, though, uh, excerpt, excuse me, from Halsey, though, that I wanted to point out. But you've been trained for decades to shoot Covenant, so I can't, I can't uh, blame you. So important uh, little Very detail important. there. Yeah. Very curious indeed, Dr. Halsey. Yeah. Okay, so I, I will, uh, I'll let you lead the way here towards that objective cool. and we can figure out where we are, what we gotta do. As you had pointed out, um, of course, now we're thinking we gotta get back to Halsey for, uh, to figure out what's going on in Cortana. Yeah, okay. I feel like if I was chief, I'd be at least a little less stressed after hearing that log. Because before yeah, just... when uh, Cortana was like, oh, I'm eight years old and, you know, AIs die at seven. It's like, oh, shoot, this could happen at any moment. That's true. Well, we even heard it. We heard a little bit of distortion and jitter in her voice already. That's what prompted kind of uh, Chief being very, very real once we crash landed and saying like, this actually wasn't the crash landing. This happened while we were still on the dawn. So, um, yeah, definitely still a little bit concerning, but we got a nice little world hey. reveal here. That's nice. There. So like I said, you're starting to see, now we're starting to see um, uh, even more large scale uh, yeah. foreigner architecture, uh, which is cool to see. Here's the question. Uh, you want the gun or you want the uh, driver's seat? Um, oh, that's, that's, a, that's actually a really hard question. Isn't that, isn't that tough? Um, you know what? I will take the gun on the first I go. think you. I was gonna say, I think uh, since we're capturing your gameplay, I think you take the gun. I think I think the gun is yeah. the way to go. But yeah, we're gonna see a whole, actually, a whole lot of vehicle play in this campaign, which I'm excited about. All uh, right. And things things that you probably haven't been behind the wheel of the. Ooh, if I you like will. that. Yeah. I remember right, when so, the ATV. Oh boy. Let's see what's when the ATVs were first introduced, and how exciting that was. All right, this is gonna be I tough. I'm really weak. Wait, I don't know about why you. Why am I? Oh, there we go. I might die oh, here. No. So plaza pistols also EMP vehicles in Halo 4. I might die here. Let me see. That's I'm going to try know. my best to stay alive. Oh, oh there's sure... a wall. I ran into the oh, wall. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the that wasn't what we were going. I just got <laughs> splattered. Oh, oh, I just got splattered so violently by a Covenant canister. I, I think you only saw the tail of it. Okay, so <laughs> l l we'll go over some strategy here. Essentially, okay, we got to get to that back true. corner. Um, there's a few things I wanted to note. The plaza Back pistols, corner, like the second, sorry, the second ship, like straight ahead, like straight ahead, okay, yeah, yeah, right yeah. there on that waypoint. Um, okay. One thing I, got, I wanted to mention was the plaza pistols uh, in Halo Four for the first time they EMP vehicles. So okay. jackals and grunts that have plaza pistols are can cause a lot of trouble for us, and they're usually at the at the top of these towers. Um, but let's go. We'll, we'll take these one at a time. I'll kind of bring us around here so we can actually, yeah, there you go. Got we can actually it. start mowing down some enemies rather than trying to speed run this. Nice job. That was a beam rifle on that one. 
We're getting we got that guy on the top. We're, we're clear. I actually there think we, we finished. I might grab that beam rifle this. really quick. Hold up. Okay, please oh, do. Oh, it was on the ground. Be... Oh, oh, there we go. One Maybe second. Now. This noise seems new to me. How there's a sound when you kind of like move the machine gun around. Uh, it's yes, not please. as noticeable as the vehicle's moving, but when you were out, uh -huh. I I was noticing that, and that's a nice touch. I like that. So just to make clear our path a little bit, I'm gonna like kill things like grunts with fuel rods and and things that we don't like like that, uh, and then yeah, we can and then we my... can take a path. Waiting for my gun to there we go. reload to your left, you, you, I believe. You, you, you baited that elite onto uh, that turret perfectly. Okay, so here we go. Can now we, we have, now we took out that elite, so it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, if you can keep gunning, we should be good. I'll I'll, I'll sit back and we can we can slow play this a little bit more. That grunt's done. Nice job. And then there's a jackal up there. Beam rifles down. Okay. There we go. I'm almost done with these got grunts to our left. Yep. Perfect. Good okay, job. there we go. My gun is. We're bringing hot. the strategic. So there's gonna be one more elite at least. I'm taking us through this weird route just to take us up. There we go. Watch out for right in front of us. Nice job. Down. And then I'm gonna take out this elite, and then we'll be good. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna try. He's not dead oh, yet. Oh, you want me out here? Awesome. Nah, nah. Uh, he should be dead. Uh, we can't take the hog up here anyway. Or maybe you can, but it's really hard to glitch it up. So don't worry. We can just move forward, and then we can kill this elite. Nice. Okay, there we I go. Did. I'm actually going to just weapon farm real quick. I want to see what's out here. Yeah, so there should actually be another beam rifle that would have fallen from this jackal if you are feeling so inclined. Oh, Let's see. I am feeling inclined. There's also, I think, a concussion rifle. And here you go. Here's this beam. Here. I, oh, I got one right here. Yep. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry. Watch out. Whoa. I forgot ADS is different. <laughs> Going to have to there we go. Got it. Those grunts. I mean, we were. I was feeling bad for them, and yeah, suddenly I am don't, don't. irritated. Uh, okay. This, if I remember correctly, yes. So jackal snipers in the back are what I'm going to look for at first. They're so obnoxious here, and then we're going to have some elites and things like that down the line. Got it. Um, oh, that I jackal see sniper is. Yeah. If we can kill him, that'd be huge. Let me know if you get him. I got him. I got him. Okay, cool. We're looking. Okay, cool. We're looking okay. So now we could do this. The, I believe there's, a, if I, my memory serves correct, I think there's a camoed elite. Oh, Jesus, one sec. I think there's a camoed elite that we're going to run into with a sword, but we should be okay with them. Okay. Nice job. Um, for this elite, we might want a plaza pistol, which I will. First, I'm going to try to hit him with the beam. Let's go around this way. There's a few. There's a few. Here, I can grab a plaza pistol. Now, once we reset, we should have eyes on this elite. I'm going to pull out my beam. He hasn't shown just yet, though. We got a checkpoint, though, which is good. Fantastic. There we go. Let's see where this guy is. I really don't want to use my beam yet. I don't see him. Damn, these plasma pistols. This one's out of ammo. I have to back up. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We can grab ammo from downstairs. Once Now that we're up here, I don't think many enemies charge up here. Yeah, there's the elite. Okay, He's in cool. the back left. Damn, I'm not fine. Oh, one second. I'm going to go okay, back. Okay, the elite's the comboed. Oh, what the? I, I like, didn't get a register. Pick there. up, pick up. There we go. I got another one. Elite's okay, weak. we're good. Elite's real weak. Oh, nice. You got him. Right? Okay, cool. Yeah, you didn't even need me. I did. Don't say that. Spent the okay. entire time. I spent the entire time looking for ammo. So we just got to now. I have a sword. We just got to kill these last two. And I think we get the checkpoint. Uh, there's going to be a camo on the ground in just a second, I believe. His camo. Yeah, so you can grab that. If you turn around, you can grab that camo module. All right, nice work, Sid. There we go. Yeah, good work. We're, we're finding our groove. Yeah, we are. I mean, you're oh, like clockwork. The, the second we came out of that last cutscene, you're like, okay, Jackal down. Let's go. <laughs> so I have to activate the active camo with RB. It doesn't automatically activate. Ooh, there's right. some plasma pistols with full ammo and needlers back there. too. Okay, excellent. Yeah, oh, by, by the way, I should mention, uh, we haven't yet. Halo 4's needler is a crazy, especially on campaign tuning. So the needler against um, enemy types... So these are going to be some friendly sentinels. I wondered when they'd show up. Um, not a big surprise being on a Forerunner installation. Um, so yeah, needlers, um, really powerful against especially elites and things like that. So don't be afraid to grab them. They, and they're going to melt grunts, of course, too, and jackals. But oh. I think we can divide and conquer here. Uh, if you hit, the, go to that back left, activate. I'll go to the back right, activate. Let's do it. 
And I'm pretty sure we can activate these at the same time. Head over to the platform. And I'm activating. Activate. Oh, you're already there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll you're be... like, let's do this together at the same time. It'll be cute. And I'm like, hey, I'm done. Okay, now we should have some enemies, as you see. Yep, I've so got we... some grunts in front of me. Yep. I'll come over to you in just a second. I got a bunch over here with me. I'm just desperate to use my sword. Elite right oh here. my god, I got needed. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay alive. I think we just got a checkpoint though, I'm not too worried. Maybe I can spawn you on this hard light bridge. Maybe? Yeah. Cool. So there's an elite okay. just to our left that we can take out. I think your sword should still be down there as well. Let's kill this elite first. I might die here. Oh. Oh no, do you have a plot? Are you only with a positive person? Yeah, I'm trying to find okay, a needler. Uh, I got one. Oh, okay, I got needled immediately. That was Wait. Me. It was oh, me, sorry. it was me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I looked over at your screen because I have your, your gameplay a second behind me and I just watched you absolutely destroy my back with needles. I don't think we'll have to clear. There we go. So you, you can hit that activate and we're good. Uh, I was gonna say, I didn't think we had to clear this whole all enemy types. Activating. Can you imagine if the campaign just like took a huge left turn and it was all about us just digging, digging. a very big digging. hole? It's a digging game. It's a digging sim. Halo digging. <laughs> Press X to dig. So of course we, I hadn't mentioned earlier, but the signal that they're getting is from Infinity. It's the largest uh, ship in the UNSC fleet. Um, and they're trying to get now Cortana back. First of all, they want to Obviously, you want to establish contact with Infinity, period, but also they want to use it to try to get Cortana back to eventually Halsey. But that is a signal they're trying to follow. To Got it. Okay. So this is going to look pretty familiar to you, Sid. Um, kind of bridge combat, a little bit of salt in the control room, a little bit of uh, other missions from Halo. So we want to clear this uh, our immediate landing zone right here first. And there's going to be a few little ammo stores, but it's mostly just grunts off the break. But this is a really fun sequence. Uh, there's a BR, by the way, if you'd like it. It's right here. Oh, I would love it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is pretty kind of standard Halo push across a, a bridge with high sections okay. and low sections. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to juggle this plaza pistol so that we have it in case we run into some elites, Got which, it. will, which will good. be obnoxious. So we got a bunch right here in this midsection. They're just warming us up now, though. It's mostly grunts and jackals. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, those. I'd say as much as you can, pick up those plaza pistols. Just if 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 you don't have ammo and other things, just because especially against the jackals and elites, they make such a big difference. Let's see, I'm hanging back. Health slow. Cool. I'm pushing up a bit. Nice. Man, if I'm not gonna lie, legendary co-op run feels good. So guess what? Banshee in front of us. Um, Oh, the there's a elite. Sorry, down there. Oh, you're good. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll, we'll, let's take him out. He's, he's like one hit. Dang it! I got rid of my pistol. Uh, I might still have one. One sec. This is. There's a there's a weapon thing back here. I can grab it. Yeah, you're good. It's also easier to fight this from low because it's a, it's a low bridge. We can. Uh, normally, I wouldn't say that, but the top is actually more exposed. So in this case, height doesn't really help us. Uh, that that jackal's already down, so we can kind of push up a little bit. Oh, one sec. I'm real weak. I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Nice. I haven't uh, Halo... piloted a Banshee in a long time. Say. And in Halo 4, it is just um, once you get in. I'm going to pepper this Banshee too. Oh, never mind. I killed the Banshee already with the, with two beam shots. I guess we oh, did some okay. damage. But you can still use that to mop up this. Oh, there's one more Banshee in the sky right behind oh, you. I see so okay. you can hit in Halo 4 it's different. Right? Sorry to interrupt. In Halo 4, Where it's different. You? You, hit, you hit Y to, to switch firing modes to Banshee Bomb. Nice. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? I need I'm to take your stumps off. Stop. Oh, no. Stop attacking me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yes. Look at the cover from the skies. Okay, cool. How I'm coming you, up. How could you do all the flips and stuff? I remember um, doing that. Let's see. I play on bump jump, so for me, it's like left bumper. Uh, you can also. Let's see. I'm not sure what it would be on default. Oh yeah, it is left play. bumper. You're good. Okay, there you go. 
Nice job. I'm watching you do crazy acrobatics across the fridge. Supply a banshee. I mean, there's an elite back there. I'm gonna. Yeah. It looks incredible. Hey, what's you. going on? Why am I so low? No, where are you go going? Up. Go back up. Go back up, man. <laughs> I got you. I got you, man. There nice. we go. Look at that cover. And and you didn't there kill me. <laughs> and you didn't kill me. I didn't, know what, I didn't splatter my teammate. Oh, oh that's incredible. The, nice job. Look at that. Bridge cleared. All right. Onwards. Onwards. B is for Bravo. Where? I mean, why not just Bravo? Are you kidding me? I don't have the OG Bravo. <laughs> I asked Major Nelson for it. Okay, so before we go out, um, there's a ghost on the right side. I'm going to try to board, which will make this a whole lot easier. Got it. Um, wish us luck. Let's do it. Okay, do you want me to follow you right? No, yeah, you, you can fire. To... You can fire. I'm taking out this gunner. Nice job. Oh, yes, I got the ghost. Okay. Ready? I'm going to try to... If you could stay alive back there, I'm going to fly ahead and try to get a little bit cheap on getting position up here one sec this okay, takes some um, timing uh okay i'm through up here i don't think i can skip you here like to the unfortunately oh, wait, i'm doing something dumb <laughs> but i might be able to spawn you so if you died don't worry I died. <laughs> okay if you died i think i can get you right here yeah perfect yep. look at this look at us Okay. Look at us go. So up top right here, there's just a bunch of like grunts and we need to take them out and then there will be another elite. Let's just kill these grunts first though. I got comboed, I gotta wait a second. Got one of the grunts. Nice job. There's gonna be elite that charges us, that, that guy. Oh yeah. I, I got you. I got you. Is he dead? Back. He's not dead. Okay. He's dead. Go. He's dead. We're good. We're good. Man, that that man ate. Nice. Can't snipe both of us, man. You got him? Yeah, we got him. We're good. Okay, nice job, nice job. Awesome. Did, uh, do you want that oh, it beam? It looks like there's a lead up there. Um, yeah, right, we'll take it. Where is it? Where did, did, it where did you drop here? it? Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to get one of these needlers. Oh, I'll just get a new storm rifle, actually. Awesome. So this is an interesting sequence. I'll let it play out, and then I'll talk about it. Okay, cool. Uh, two, two elites here. Got it. I'm hanging back to... Nice job. One elite down. Did you already get the other one? Yep, already dead. So notice that we have uh, all the sentinels fighting these hunters here, which is another interesting example of a kind of forerunner covenant or a forerunner and a covenant faction still fighting. Got it. Got it. But I'm we can join ammo. the sent. We can join the sentinels here in this fight. Man, is it nice to have you with I me? Have and they're both no dead. Weapon. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'd say in general, snag the needlers over the plaza pistols unless it's like specifically to charge it and hit the elite. Got it, got it. Um, okay. Cool, and here we go. And here we go. Take a moment, uh, appreciate the front architecture here. Wow. Nice nice place they've got, right? Yeah, they've got style. They do. That's one thing they the foreigners got, they got, they got style for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm really enjoying this so far. And I know I've actually heard a lot of really great things about the Halo 4 campaign. Where yeah. would you say it ranks in the scheme Ooh. of Halo campaigns? I'm gonna let you. I think we, I don't know if you hit this button or if we jump, if we just get on this platform. I think we. Oh, yeah, but man, ranking it would be tough. The one thing I will say is the, the multiplayer. I think certainly, uh, unsurprisingly, had, has its critics for Halo 4. But uh, the campaign, I think, it, it stands up pretty well. I mean, a, a lot of Halo fans. And I'll grant that there's there's nuanced things like art style and things like that that. Um, really uh that the, the the kind of the jury is out about but i would say overall halo 4's campaign halo 4 story it, it holds up within uh you know it, it, i i really wouldn't make camp comparisons to the first three and then any halo title after but i will say mm -hmm. in the larger halo franchise halo 4's campaign amongst halo fans it, it uh it holds up for sure tell you what chief is so lucky that there's all these terminals everywhere where he can just this stick cortana into right what Works convenient out. Works out pretty well for him. Gotta grab and go. Chief, go. Move faster, dude. He, yeah, he took his time with that one. There we go. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, it's fine. I'll just check it out for a bit longer. <laughs> so that was a big moment as well. I mean, that's the first time that we got a glimpse in game um, at that enemy type. I, I think it's a spoiler to say 
the name of the enemy type. So just for the purposes okay. of our let's okay. play, I'll, we'll, we'll keep going. But uh, that's a that's a big reveal there for sure. Contacts. Oh, OK. Uh, I don't this like things that like crawl like... up and down walls. That's a I general... don't particularly either. I will. I have to agree with you. Oh, I still have the active camo. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I have a. I actually have a hard light. I don't know when, when and where I got it, but we got stuff on the walls. I do not like these guys. No, no, not at all. You'll, there's a there's a there's a number of things we'll grow to hate throughout this campaign, <laughs> especially on legendary. Those weren't the same things we saw in the terminals. They seem like robot dogs. All right, ready. I believe we got yeah. we got some action here. Let's push up to this right rock. Got it. Yeah, and... Alright, we... right. I'm working with an assault rifle and a pistol, just heads up. Yeah, behind us right now. Got Watch out, they're dog. gonna be hitting us with, uh... Well, this isn't a spoiler, because you played multiplayer, but with pulse grenades as well. Got it, got it. Uh, so we want to kill, obviously, that, that... That top thing the that's guy? hovering above. That flies oh, around okay. the little drone. Really important to take those out every time, especially on legendary, because on legendary they're even, uh, even worse. I'm sorry, I'm gonna. I gotta let my shields recharge. I'm low. All, right. All I have is my assault Doing pretty well here, right though. now. So we want to kill that 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 top drone. The drone thing. Yeah. Yeah, if we can right now. Nice. Got okay, got that's it. huge. Now we can worry about the the other guy. I'm with you on this guy. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Nice, he's down, he's down, he's down. Sweet. I've discovered something interesting hey. about our new friends. Yeah, so we're getting our hands on, of course, you'll have played with a lot of them through multiplayer. But as Cortana just said, the big ones are Promethean Knights, but that's the only thing she was able to pull out of the data is that the big ones are called Promethean Knights. Um, but you'll have played with a lot of them, but if anyone happens to be watching Halo 4 for the first time, is there pulse grenades there? There should be, right? There we go. Yeah, there um, are. Yeah, if anyone's watching Halo 4, it happens to be for the first time. There's a lot of weapons we're going to see for the first time here. Of course, all these Promethean weapons. Um, so we get to fight more of them. Oh, I should I should mention the light rifle. You'll you'll likely remember this, but it's one of the first weapons. I'm reloading. In... I'm reloading. Sorry. Good. No, you, you got them. Don't I'm worry. Back. The light rifle is one of the first weapons in Halo. I don't want to say it's the first because even if you think back to the the E3 reveal BR from Halo 2, it had alternate fire, but the light rifle is the alternate fire when, you know, when zoomed, you probably remember from MP, when zoomed, it's a single shot that does quite a bit more damage than when unzoomed, where it's a three shot burst. But not a lot of weapons in Halo that have that alternate fire uh, that is zoom dependent. Yeah, and I feel like, so I was like, not initially the biggest fan of like adding ADS in Halo 5. Mm -hmm. But going back to playing Halo 4, which has the, that stick zoom. Traditional aim, yeah. Yeah, is difficult. Yeah, it's I making it's... me very happy they added ADS into... I'm down, I'm down. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's like drilled into my brain, the, the stick. I'm going to get, get you back in the action one sec. The pulse name. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, this guy's charging hard. He's charging you. He's real weak. Nice job. He's dead. Jumping out of the way. So one of the reasons we prioritize watchers, especially on legendary, this is the watchers oh. is what the name is for the drones, is they can respawn those. Uh, oh, boo! And, yeah, Get out and, of here. Yeah. And after and after we've just like wiped two of those, the last thing you want a watcher to do is hover over. Uh, it's absolutely horrible. Uh, so the one okay. good thing is with the crawlers or the dogs. As you said, um, uh, one one burst, whether zoomed or unzoomed, to the face will take them down. They kind of have like weird armor, but if you still hit them in the face, you'll be good. Nice job. Right, with that I watcher. think I forgot that. Yeah. Okay, I did. Yeah, you got them. So we could just. Um... Us getting oh, what the? He's dead. Wow. Okay, nice. I had no idea he was even up here. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Wait, I'm going to give you this scatter shot. Come back here. I'm going to give you this scatter shot because I think this will be. I think this is the first time we are able to pick up the scatter shot in game. So I'll let you pump some oh, fools with that thing. This. There you Ooh, go. I love that animation. Oh yeah, I will say yeah, it like it's so pretty sweet. Pretty. So I want to. What I would like to do here: take out this washer first of all. 
Okay. And then I think what we can do is jump down They're to the one. jump down to the left and take on some of these battles instead, and maybe isolate them just a little bit. Okay, I'm jumping down with you. Cool. Nice job. This th th this cliff just gives us a little bit of extra cover from all the stuff that's going to be I happening above us to oh. the back right. Speaking of cover, I'm down. You're down. Yeah. Ah, I might be down too. Let's see. I am so down. <laughs> Got absolutely exploded. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we we go again. Run it I don't think back. you. You don't have your scatter yet, right? You got. No, you still got to do that. Okay, grab that. That's just on the weapon rack over here. Got it. Chia. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can kind of just take the angles here and push up even further left. There's a dart right in front of you. Melted. Sweet. Take a little bit of a flank route here. I think what we have to do is bounce around. I can't exactly remember. Bounce around these little structures. Yeah, we got to destroy these. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to fly into this bottom one and take it out right away, but there's going to be a knight and a watcher up top. Okay, I'm working on the watcher. I'm taking cover. Drop down. Watcher still up. I have lost the visual on the watcher. I'm going to come back to you in just a second. I took out the first core. We got to take out two more, but I'm coming back up oh, to you. Oh, we have the scatter shot. That's very unfortunate. Um, Here, there's, there's, we'll, we'll, we'll get that sorted. Don't worry. All right, I got a, I got a pulse grenade on him. Nice. I'm gonna try to pulse him again. You got to okay. wait. Come inside this building if you can. Down here with me. I'm uh, you can grab inside. a light rifle on the wall. There you go. Oh, glorious. Thank you. You bet. Um, I really want to kill this knight. Let's go out. Let's go out the back door in just a second. I'm reloading. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do it. We got that, that watcher though. I might target this watcher. Well, I'm not gonna Taking lie. The watchers on cover. the watchers on legendary are absolutely horrible. I hate them. I got your help. See, Ow. they also provide a, I forgot to say, they also provide a shield, and I didn't mention this. They will slingshot your pulse grenades back at you. Uh, oh. Like, first enemy type, I want to say, in Halo to do something like that. Yeah, um, those things don't seem like something I like. No. Is there, no, is there a watcher for every night? Or? They, they, so they spawn them. I'm going to say it the totally wrong fictional way. They spawn them out of their butts. And um, okay. so during a battle, they'll, they'll they can kind of spawn them. I believe they only have a it's, it's a one and done. They spawn their watcher and then that's it. Gotcha, um, gotcha. I'm I just wasn't this sure if it's like I should be looking for a watcher every time I find a knight. Nice job. Pretty, that, but yes, you're right. That's a good rule of thumb. All right, so this is now okay. They just spawned. Uh, I, have, I have two. This this that watcher might be weak. nice job. Nice. Another one. Reloading and falling back. You good? There's two. There's still two of them here. Watch out! That pulse grenade. Uh. Was you that good or no? Pulse that got me? No, I went down. I'm up though. I'm up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I killed that second knight. I did oh, they're, they're responding. They're responding. You see the respawn? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, how horrible is that? It's the last thing I want to see. Okay, I'm reloading. I'm back. Uh, I am low on ammo. One sec. Just need to grab the suppressor. I can keep pushing. Okay, I'm behind you. I'm with you. I'm focusing the right, the one on the right. Now he's in the middle. Dead. Down. Back in mid. Another one here. Around. He's getting pulsed. He's just dancing around this thing. I'm out of ammo. I'm using pulse he's... shot. Where'd he go? There he is. Same, same, same spot. Nice job. PC, PC. All right, so Yay. I guess after your first um, first engagements with the with the Prometheans, what do you uh, what do you think? I like them a lot. So I, it reminds me a lot of uh, Destiny for some reason. Just like okay, yeah, yeah. The, maybe their mannerisms. Yeah, and the time and, it feels a bit, it feels a bit longer. At least definitely on yeah. legendary, right? Yeah. Guy but right it, here with feels, a scatter. It feels a good amount in terms of like, it doesn't feel like it's like a bullet sponge situation. Too spongy, yeah. But it's difficult. Nice. Look at us just I taking really angles. I like really like the rifle though. You went right, I went left. We didn't even say anything. Yeah, we're on, that we are. Perfect. Into the telepathy. 
Yeah, I'm loving this light rifle. This is nice. It's true. We should look back at this. I mean, the skybox that you were mentioning earlier is pretty wild in here. Um, That's in terms crazy. of forerunner look architecture, it's pretty yeah. sweet. Okay. Sometimes you got to take a second to smell the roses, you know? I agree. I agree. Down. So Del Rio is the, I think it was, it was, it was clear in that, but captain of the infinity. Um, mm -hmm. And now they're trying to, I'll let you hit that activate. But now they're trying to get to us, which is very kind of them, but not exactly what we want them to do right now. Okay. It's working. Bring us in, Sid. Ooh. And we're here. Here we are. Obviously, it's like so. It's it is Master Chief, so we just be like kind of monotone and grumpy. Mm -hmm. But after not playing a campaign in so long, it's like very funny to hear it again. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so funny you say that. I was so lucky last um, summer to do five city tour with Halo Outpost Discovery and Steve and Jen were on every stop as well. And they I'm would have, they have a bit where they just talk about like the meme or like the main theme of like Chief and Cortana lines where they just sit on a couch together and she like kind of exasperatedly says Chief and he just goes Cortana, Cortana. And she's like going through all this like nuanced dialogue and then uh, he's just like Cortana, Cortana because it is very... <laughs> Stoic chief, but let's go ahead. Let's jump through. Big fan of stoicism. I've heard that about him. Yeah, both Chief and Steve Downs, both uh, both uh, blue steel stoics for sure. Feels good. Um, so here's some interesting things. You'll notice that we have a few different enemy types. You got Covenant drop pods and the uh, Covenant forerunners. Not really like, liking each other right now, which is good news for us. Fantastic. So we can kind of pick and choose which oh, which. We can kind of pick and choose which battle we want a third party and okay. even which one on the map. I just got so, dinged. I'm going to hang back a sec. Yeah, take take your time. Take your time. When you do get a chance, definitely, if, if only for the novelty of it, if you chuck a grenade at a watcher, watch them slingshot it back to you. They, like, whip it around okay. like a lasso. It's kind of terrible. Is it any nade or just the pulse nade specifically? Just pulse. Just pulse, I believe. Nice job on that watcher. I mean, on that night. Okay. After fighting Prometheans, going back to Covenant feels like a walk in the park. No, I totally agree. Right? Or maybe it's and just it's more funny, familiar. I don't when know. We first started, when we first started this playthrough, I was like, oh, I forgot. Those elites kind of take a little bit more yeah. like attention than I remember. Totally. All right, let's keep going. We just got to mop a few more, and then we're good. Whoa, did you see that? I did. I oh, forgot about that. I almost feel bad. I'm sorry, man. That's how you Night went out. Knight just comes in. Yeah, you know, let's take down those okay, here we go. watchers. Good call. Try to angle oh. yourself away from that knight if you can. That's not cover. There we go. I got some cover. And I have no ammo. Um, I'm with a scatter shot. I kind of want to... Are there any weapons I can farm down here? Oh, for sure. We can drop down and, and, and pick up some uh, remains. There's a storm rifle there. Okay. I got the storm rifle. I'm cool. good to go. Let's get back up here. I'm with you, I'm with you. Nice. All right, I got that carbine. Now we should still have to worry about... We can go over this way now. Second, I'm going to grab this uh, suppressor. Do I want that? Let's see, I don't even know how what kind of hitbox this thing has. There we go. My oh my. Nice. I think we... Guess what we have? An opportunity to just both grab some ghosts. I like it. Did this guy not have a watcher? He did not, no. And I, it might be that he spawns it like later if we wait. I'm not sure. Okay, we can each grab one of these, though. And uh, what do you say we hit it? I say that we absolutely hit it. Let's do it. Oh, we weren't going to. I forget. We're not going for the first. Look at this. Oh, melting. 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 Oh my gosh! This is a Promethean tuna melt. Promethean tuna melt. There we go. Uh, obviously, try not to get plasma pistol comboed if on a charge shot, because that'll. Yeah, like I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh shoot! Ah, dog! Dog destroying me! Dog destroying me! There's a dog on you. Here, come this way. Yeah, if you I, can. I bailed. I bailed. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a dog just behind me. Just, kinda... <laughs> just gnawing. Yeah, gnawing away. Okay, here we go. A little more of the same. Let's 
Okay, I got EMP'd. It's bad. It's bad. Cover me. There we go. I'm snaking Man, in on your right. Don't worry, they're just only focusing uh, these EMPs on me. Nice. Seriously, though, I don't think I got one of them. No, no, no. <laughs> so we have to get up to the relay because, um, as you could hear, Infinity is now touching base. They've got our Four of the Dawn distress signal on Requiem, and we have to try to get to that relay to make sure they don't screw up. Okay, I'm going to try to splatter this elite really quick before he gets the Banshee. I will oh, try no. to focus with you on this Banshee, okay. who's like just about to Banshee oh. on me. Actually, yeah, if we could focus fire this Banshee, that'd be awesome. I have really good shots yeah. on him already. I'm going to die, if I'm honest <laughs> with you. Things are not looking my way. So the Banshee that I was on you, now. I might kill this Banshee, don't worry. Okay, I'm pretty well, sure I'm, I'm going dead. to. He's, I'm he's alive dead. now. Sid, it worked perfectly. That was it great. Worked. I distracted. That's exactly what you I still came have? out Okay, you do. should grab your ghost again. Come back this way. Oh, there we are. And then um, I'm thinking we could together go up this left side again. Cool. But careful okay. because they there's so much fire that comes. But now that that banshee's out of the skies, there might be another one. I can't remember. But now that that banshee's out of the sky, this becomes a lot easier. Uh, so we have another destroy thing. I'm going to start destroying. Okay. There is another ghost. Um... Whoa! Yeah, there is. Let's let's get this guy. Nice I'm having a bad time. I got you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no! Is that a Banshee? Yeah, that, there's the Banshee. Yeah, we can kill him. Banshee. If we get the I right angles with the ghost, we can kill him. I was able to kill that last one pretty easily. Nice. There you go. We got him. We got him. Can we get him before yeah. he gets me? Yes. Easy. We can just swing on by to this next one. Okay. Should be a few enemies here. I'll take care of this one. You could stay inside the ghost. Okay. I see there we go. There's... He took my ghost. He took no, my ghost. No, no, no. no. I killed him. I but got distracted. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, my ghost. What's happening? I got, I got another ghost ahead of us. Wow! I get out of the ghost for one second. Okay, I think there's a banshee up here. Let me snag this. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go over here and destroy this thing. Yep, I'm coming with you to do it. Right. That'll do it. Shield should be down. Cool. Get I'm gonna get up to the banshee again. Um, clear on. There's two guys in front of you. Just little grunts. Just little guys. All right. I think you're mostly okay, getting hit from the elites up top. So let me help you with those. I got one of them. Okay. Nice. Oh shoot! Something just like sniped me. I think. I'm taking cover for a sec. Should just be maybe an elite with a carbine. Where did that come from, though? Oh, that center. Okay, I'm making my way I got, I got boarded by an elite, and he killed me on the board. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, I forgot about enemies boarding in Halo 4. They can... Uh... Yeah, I forgot about that, too. I Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, boy. It's a very different uh, circumstances now. But we can uh, just... We, all we, all, all we got to do is climb up here to come around this way. Okay. I'm getting dinged. I'm falling right behind you. The the elite you killed the other elite, so I think we can yeah we can sprint right through once again to kind of take the same exact route. Don't worry about the banshee. I'll eat shots for us. Okay. I'm headed through the light bridge. There we go. And we're activating. Let's do it. Jumping through again. Why would they care about a broadcast relay? Oh boy, here we go. Okay. This is a big moment. How soon till infinity hits the gravity well? Okay. A minute or two max. Okay. We have a minute or two. Okay. Wow! Oh I got him, I got him. Here. Absolutely vaporized by the last grunt. Oh, that's so funny. We wanna... Oh, just need, you just need... Yeah, you're good. Man, you're right. We gotta give grunts the credit they deserve. Right? I feel like they're really stepping up their game. Okay, so as you can see, we have both... Uh, Covenant... Covenant and Prometheans here. I won't say more than that, though, at this moment. Okay. 
Ah! I got a combo on him. Nice, I'll grab that. I think we can Wait, I have no weapon. I need that. <laughs> ah! I'm ready. Okay, I need to farm. The knight below something. me is super weak. I got Okay, him. I have literally no weapon, so I cannot help you. Oh, I have... We're good, we're good. One sec. Oh, don't oh, go into the pulse grenade! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. There you go. It almost spawned me in another nade. Are we serious? I heard right it now? too. I heard it. I was scared. Okay. okay, cool. We can just fly at that last guy and I think we're good here. Slightly behind you. Nice. Did he phase? just phase into us? Oh, he's phasing again. I have... Oh, there, there he is. is. Yeah, their faces are not on what? point today. I'm down. You need to hear this. Oh, because he has one of the snipers. Okay, that's what these one shots are. Okay, we have a watcher in the middle. Oh no, it's not a watcher. It's one of those. Um, oh, one of the turrets. Turrets, yeah. Watch out! There's an elite right behind you. Stay. Oh, thank you. I got him. That's another cool thing we haven't. I haven't mentioned it, but of course, the effect when you kill someone with a Promethean weapon that they vaporize. Oh, I don't even know that I was really paying attention because I think that I've killed so many Prometheans with a Promethean weapon that I assumed it was just the Promethean. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. If, if you were to kill a human or a Covenant, they also vaporize? Wow, I, got, I traded with a one-shot. Give me just a second. I'll be back. Okay, I'm oh, my. Back. Now I'm I'm getting... I'm I'm now on the receiving end, Sid, of the... Uh, of the, the spawn... The, the Sydney experience. Spawn kill? The Sydney experience. <laughs> Nice job, oh, nice. Let's hit the button. Hey, something's not right. We don't have time. The pillars. Touch the pillars. We're touching them, man. <laughs> or I guess we're tough. We got it. We got it. If we got it. This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC forward unto dawn. Do you copy? Whoa, I've never looked at Chief's throat that close. Infinity. Do you read? Really? Like, felt weird to me. <laughs> like alligator skin. Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account. Oh, good thing you took cover. You don't speak too soon. <laughs> it's really funny that it's really funny that you said that, having not seen this cutscene. Speaking of Chief's like neck. Like creeping me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So fades the great harvest of my betrayer. Your nobility has blinded you as ever. Oh, well. Yep. So much for that. <laughs> <laughs> the librarian left little to chance, didn't she? No, we don't like seeing Chief get tossed around like that. Yeah, no, it's not my favorite. All right, now is the perfect time, I think, to take a break and reset, presented by Cheesy Groups. All righty. Okay, yeah, tell me, so you're seeing all that for the first time. Yeah, like there's a lot happening. Um, okay, so I just... I feel like I was so involved. First of all, I really liked what we just played. I thought that was a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. um, I I love those new weapons. They're great. Mm -hmm. um, I think that like I was so preoccupied by just like mowing down enemies and trying to yeah. like stop Infinity from getting in there that I completely mm -hmm. forgot the whole Cortana situation. Yes. Like that's still something that's it's... of concern. <laughs> Yeah, and at the beginning of that mission, you hear a little bit more of her voice transmission, kind of going in and out of whack, and you and you kind of uh, yeah, you 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 are reminded of what's going on. But like you said, throughout the the really this the, this mission, there, you're, it's so much of a focus on um, the Promethean weapons, uh, seeing the Prometheans for the first time, on, on, being on this planet, learning that you're on Requiem. There's so much that happens. Learning that you're on Requ Requiem, learning that Requiem is a shield world, which we haven't talked about yet. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, what we just saw with the Didact, which, as you can imagine, uh, first of all, uh, credit to the Didact for uh, kind of manipulating the signal and, and, and releasing 
themselves. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the importance of terminals, but uh, pretty catastrophic decision there to release, uh, not decision, but accident to release the didact uh, now uh, back into the known universe. Yeah, I don't know that that's what we were aiming for. I'm no. just going to put that out there. I don't think that that no. was the intended result. <laughs> not at all. So to catch you up on the terminals, you probably would have seen at this point. How much do you know about the didact? Probably, I would have to assume not that much. Not from, much. From no, I mean, right? yeah. um, definitely if I was playing this in real time when this was released, I wouldn't really have the knowledge. I think just because of all the hype going into Infinite, like I've heard Didac thrown around, like I kind of have an understanding sure. of like Didac bad. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to kind of like catch me up on maybe yeah. some more, um, a better definition than what I currently sure. hold of the Didac? Sure. Um, so the, the best way to put it is like military supreme leader uh, of the Prometheans has done some very bad things, um, has used tools to turn, um, uh, you know, different, including humans into Prometheans, um, uh, that we just saw, uh, the main purpose of that, that you would, uh, that you would learn through terminals and that you would learn through extended fiction as well is to make those warriors and warrior servants and all them, uh, impervious to, um, being infected by the flood, uh, because they will then have no organic material that they can infect. Um, so that was all done a very long time ago. And then where he met uh, resistance uh, through those acts, of course, was uh, ultimately from the librarian who who was his wife and, and was also in charge of, or took it upon herself to categorize and index all these different species that would be reseeded after the halo rings were fired. Um, it's a very quick high level, and that of course is not as good a rundown that you'll get from the likes of Hidden Xperia or Halo Cannon or Jeffy Sterling or Frank O'Connor, um, but a very high level rundown of the, of the characters that are at play here. Mm -hmm. Okay, which I appreciate. So, and you were yeah. saying that's something that we would have picked up if we were watching all the terminals and right. If you're that. catching the terminal, yeah. If, if 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 we were watching the ter each and every terminal as we went through, you'd, you'd be getting that background through animated sequences, mm -hmm. um, of course. And that, and you can get a lot through through the fiction as well. Um, but you'd have background on the motivations of of certainly of of the didact, and 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 you'd learn uh, where he kind of met his resistance and and, and had been forced into the core of the shield world um and now um the cat is out of the bag if we stick with the the, the cat theme the cat, uh, i like it, the cat theme we got we got even we got even bigger problems now if we thought that getting cortana back to halsey was was a was, a, was an, an issue, issue we certainly have, have bigger issues here okay well why don't we just jump back into all of our issues let's solve some let's issues do it. all right let's do this i'm ready you see me i'm ready i'm ready I see you. Let's do it. Wait, one second. Wait, look at me. Sure. <laughs> but I'm looking. Sorry, I'm looking at like the um, ratio of gun to mass. Oh, to the Byrai is an insane looking weapon. Look it's longer thing. than your leg. It is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, now we can continue. There we go. Okay. All right. We guess what? We got Our a ghost. Pick. We got a ghost run here. Our pick of ghosts. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoy this. I'll let you lead the way. We are flying out of here. Um, oh, as it escape. says on screen, we just escape. That's it. Okay. I'm giving you a push. Oh, <laughs> teamwork. It's that teamwork. Whoa. I was looking at your screen. Oh, 360. Uh, there you go. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. I'm letting you take us through this portal. Okay, blast off. But the question is, where does it take us? I do love the idea of there being like an alternate Halo where Master Chief is just a cowboy. Oh, I thought you were gonna like, say I back to. I thought you were gonna say where we're where we're just digging, pressing X to dig. Oh, no, I'm coming up with a wealth of ideas. We should send this to three four three. They can. Uh, Come with some expansion packs. We have Master Chief, the Cowboy. Definitely, there's a, a there's a whole process <laughs> at the reception level where those are immediately discarded for like legal reasons to ensure that <laughs> the game studio never gets sued if they, if someone actually does an idea that happened to be in a packet of information. So there's like a strict process to make sure no one who works on the game would actually ever open that. Uh, sorry, I talked about that whole cutscene. Essentially, the Infinity is crash landing, and the died and the seventy kilometers due north. 
and the didact is also chasing the landing. So we're about to go follow that. But yes, if you want to submit ideas or work with, with your favorite game studios, work through the community teams and the community people you can work with on Twitter, um, much better than sending it to like a blanket, uh, say, for example, Microsoft or game Xbox or game studio address, because there's too, too many legal hoops to jump through in that in that regard, for sure. Interesting, the more you know. Well, if anybody wants to, you know, take the initiative and send my ideas over to the 343 uh, community team. I think I between I think between Cowboy Chief and Halo Diggers, we have two really good <laughs> starting points for sure. We're gonna need something to zero in on. Yeah, I just don't know that I would be chasing the didact. I mean, I get it. I feel like I'd see his little orb show up, and I'd be like, "Yeah, that's, that's enough why for you, me." That's why you and I get to play as chief, and we don't actually have to worry about the have moral be responsibility chief. of being chief. <laughs> So speaking, not to get too, too dark, but speaking of things that Halo teaches you about morality. Sure. Um, or mortality, rather. Oh, mortality, okay. Is <laughs> that I, playing Halo as a kid is what like pinged for me that I, that it's like, oh, you respawn in Halo, but in real life, we aren't so lucky. And for some reason, Halo is the game that did it for me. Well, it's true. I don't know. I I explicitly remember sitting and, and just thinking. thinking about it. It was like, Master Chief response. That's not a thing that happens in real life. Right. Yeah. No, it's a pretty, I mean, and we, we, were, we were pretty young when Halo came out. So that's kind of a, yeah. it's a bit heavy, you know? Yeah. Right. Speaking of heavy, I'm letting you lead the way here. Let's do this. Okay. Weapons free. Oh, nice. Didn't even need me. There we go. Wait, this thing. <laughs> this thing is melting. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it, honestly, it's refreshing to have DMR in your hands after, like, fighting these guys with suppressors and plaza pistols, that's for sure. There we go. Uh, I haven't mentioned it yet, but, uh, you know, the feel here, there's a lot of kind of, uh, Parts of Halo 1, parts of Halo 3-esque, uh, um, kind of like the foliage, the jungle warfare. I dig it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so question for you. Yeah. Because when we first started, you were talking about how, you know, Halo's a big part of your life in sure. many different ways in your career. How did working at 343 kind of like change, and did it change your experience playing the games? Like when you're not working? Ah, it's a great question. I think it's an important one too. I think, you know, it kind of goes for, there's a running joke. Oh, I'm right. down, I'm down. No, we both. I got completely obliterated. We both just got <laughs> collateral. Oh, we both did. We Was got that collateral wow. in campaign. I have. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I've, I haven't played that much Halo 4 campaign co-op, but we just got collated hard. <laughs> but the question you bring up is a good one because there's a lot of people who say when you start working in games that you stop playing games. And I would say that that struck me as true. Oh, I'm boy. down. I'll finish my thought here. I'll finish my thought here so we can focus. Um, yeah, okay. I think for, for a lot of people, you know, you, you kind of – here, let's see. You can grab that. This, we'll give it a go again. Oh, there um, it is. Okay. Uh, for a lot of people, they stop playing games as much. I'm, I'm very lucky in that – me getting a behind the scenes look at how uh, Halo is made from every aspect of the game when you talk about how uh, everything from art to tools pipelines to how things get placed in the world to how the design process goes. I found that my experience has just made me appreciate the games even more, which I know for people working in things like film, etc. can kind of ruin that experience, but I feel... I feel lucky in that uh, getting a behind the scenes look at how all these tools systems work, uh, the actual software that's used to to create these games. And then of course, many of the, the designers, um, uh, engineers, et cetera, it only gave me more of an appreciation for this. I think, you know, there's a little bit of an element of like getting a peek of, of, of how everything is made, but I, I found it that I, that I really loved it. Um, it's hard for me to think of examples of things that I wish I didn't know about how yeah. Halo games are made. Yeah. Well, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. Let's see. You you got the scans. I can't see through this fog as well as you can. Let's see. Okay. I'm all turned around. I think we uh, go. It looks clear. 
Cool. I think you're going the right way. Clear. You're definitely right in front of us. It's not clear anymore. It's not no clear. longer clear. Not clear. Not no clear. longer clear. No longer clear. clear. That call out does not, not stand. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die. I need to boost, and I can't. Oh shoot! Those whole, guys. Whole bunch of them. Move fast. Nice. I'll try to push up while you're peppering them. So the yeah, bull there's shot, still one up on top of the tree. The bull shot, of course, has the charge shot, but when you do fire it single, you like, you have to spam it, otherwise the trigger like fires really strange and single. Oh, so, interesting. Um, so when you spam, it like works. Whether if you were to like normal semi auto, it would just be it behave kind of weirdly. But here we go. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all clear once the area is secured. Time to clear some LZs. I guess we're doing it. So what's a cool a cool thing there, of course, if, if I don't even remember, but uh, Fortnite to Dawn, the episodic series, released like yeah. in the weeks leading up to Halo 4. So of course now we're seeing Lasky again for the first time in in well, I should say Chief uh Lasky just saw Chief again for the first time since the kind of the events of Fortnite to Dawn. So that's kind of a little nod there to when he says, Never thought I'd see you again. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be. I did. I watched those back when this was coming out. Yeah. I have very little recollection of what I watched. Yeah, you're. But I remember it, it, really liking it. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a few years before, of course, because you have a young like cadet Lasky. But I, honestly, it was really well shot. The, um, the 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 way they did the world, the way that they uh, the actors and actresses, amazing. I loved it too. I, to be honest, it, it just added to the hype. You know, you had like I think I can't remember if it was oh, totally. five five episodes like and kind of like slowly released over time. I would, I mean, I'm I was all for it. I, I'd love to see something like that again for sure. I completely agree. So we're gonna have to clear this part once or twice. There's turrets as well. There's uh, UNSC turrets posted along okay. the left side and the back side that we can jump on at any point. But first we gotta... I'm um, gonna take out the watcher before I use the... Both yeah, watchers are... More forerunner down. turrets. Whoa! Oh, behind you, behind you. Phasing again, behind you, behind you. Um, oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Wow, this guy is obnoxious. He's the strongest one yet. Okay, yeah, it's funny too because I oh, saw that you had already put some bullets in him, so yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm not going to use the railgun. What were you saying? Uh, let's see. I'm going to hit this uh, chip. And then I'm pretty sure you want to hold, you could hold this turret if you want. Okay. And then I'll hold the top turret. Because I think we have to hold this area down. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we're not at the LZ yet. But they're all spawning in, so we can kind of just rain down some turrets together. Because I even think our ally is on the... I think our NPC ally is on the turret, too. So we can kind of melt a bit. This could be fun. Just watch the overheat and you're good. Actually, if you pull it off, it goes to... Um, it goes to percentage base instead. No overheat. Oh, that's a pro tip. I just pulled it off because I didn't want to be stagnant, but. But it oh. probably, you pr it's oh, probably, oh. depending on how many enemies we have, it might have made sense to hold onto it, but that's all good. Or rather to leave it on the thing, but not too bothered. Nice. Good, very good. Cool, I think we can get through. You can hit, hit that. Okay, retrieving. Wait, Let's see what happens here. Covenant. Dancing. They're working with the Prometheans. Definitely yeah. giving directions and not dancing. No, not, but but definitely working together. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. Whoa, I'm getting dinged. Let's see if I can kill these guys in the back with the beam rifle. You gotta be a little bit, but honestly, with both of us here, I think we'll be fine. On, on solos, you have to be a little bit ammo conscious here, but let's just run and gun. Okay. See how it goes. I'm gonna go on this right side. I think I can get a beam rifle, or at least a carbine. I have some more shots on that knight in the back. Oh my goodness! I'm down. I'm down. Okay, don't worry. There's a. I think you're getting hit by the hit by the covenant turret too. So don't worry. I killed one. Oh oh. Man, they like you a whole lot. There's a carbine there, in case you want to snag it. Thank there you, you. I just grabbed it. Cool. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think we can just pop off these one little one taps. Okay. Lots I'm of grunts. I'm super low on health. I'm going back. I'm coming back out. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, that's a really good checkpoint that we just got because, okay, we got more knights though. I'm gonna try to needle this knight. He just phased. Oh man! Oh, he phased into I'm you? I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm, dead. I'm, I'm gonna dead. die. I'm stuck. We just, I'm stuck. whoa! Oh <sighs> my god, I just watched it on my death screen. I'm gonna push this rock here because I think it's just little covenant enemies now. Oh, sweet. Okay. And there's some rail ammo right on me. Oh, I think I just picked some up. I think I might be full. Thank you. Okay. Another one here. All I have is a rail gun, so yeah, I'm... don't spend it. Yeah, kind of worthless. Yeah. I have a cool. Pit. No. Cortana Tulaski, LZ is secured. Roger that, Cortana. Alrighty. LZ secured. Alrighty. All right, so we got a scorpion tank. If you want to grab it, right in front of us. We're, oh, Down the hill. Oh. I'm gonna cover Hello. you, um, and you're gonna have, if I remember, a wraith battle coming up pretty soon, which I'll help you with. But nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. We're moving. So you got I'm a wraith really right in front of you. Health. Yeah. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna fly it at it while uh, while you shoot it, just in case we need to board it. We got it. There we go. Nice shot. And then everything ahead of that as well. And somehow our hog is still fighting. I've seen him get blown up way earlier. Oh, you just, and you just gave me a nice little. You gave me a nice little love tap again. Really? I was oh like, my I was god! Like, I was like, how did my shields go absolutely off? <laughs> I'm keeping you on your toes, you know. You are. Uh, sweet. It's we like just a, keep moving forward. A homemade skull. <laughs> it is the Sid skull. The Sid Skull. I have my own skull. It's where I will randomly just shoot at you just to keep things exciting. Enemies will randomly shoot Scorpion Turret at you. Oh, no. Oh, I'm down. Oh, man. You got blown up. That's all right. Um, because... But we traded, we can... so... Uh, wait. Oh, that's good. I died. I think it's good that I died because I want you back in that Scorpion because we want yeah, this Scorpion for a little while because I think that's not the last Wraith. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This, is much, this is much better. Well, I'm gonna do my little three-point turn. There we go. That seems so sketchy to just be sitting on the outside of a tank. I know, especially when you got grunts running around with fuel rod cannons. Definitely a questionable choice. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you um, if you prioritize that wraith in the back to make sure it doesn't blow you up, I think we'll be good. Yes, I absolutely can do that. After this corner, I don't see him. Mm, yeah, it's a look. We want to take out this this like a little encampment first, that grunt fuel rod, and then the wraith will be after this ghost, like kind of in the mid distance, I believe. Okay. Uh, you can kind of peek through the fog. Yeah, it's back there now. I'm not going to engage with it just yet. But I'll I'll start to bait him out. I'll go to this encampment over here. Oh, the grunt fuel rod's still there. We got him. There's the wraith now. I'm gonna just take down the gunner if I can. Nice, that shot hit. Sweet. There we go. There we go. I think we got it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Ooh, those. Jeez. Those encampments do some damage. <laughs> yeah, the. Like I said, I, I can't believe the Covenant, like, faction command is, like, gave all these grunts fuel rock cannons. We have a, oh, we have wait, a wraith, too, this... if you wanna just. You can just go keep I'm the tank. In. Keep your tank theme going, because then we're flying at him with a hog and a ghost and a wraith. I like it. All right, watch out! There's two grunt fuel rods up there. Nice. I got Very one. Quick and I'm going after the wraith. I'm not gonna lie, this is. Some Man, good it's the range on this isn't the best. No, no, you're yeah. You're, the scorpion is definitely the uh, preferred beast, I think. Um, but we got some good vehicular carnage over here. Not bad. No, I I'm got like you. I'm definitely gonna die. Uh, I didn't realize there was two ghosts. I think you got this though. There we go. I spawned. Nice. Nice. Look at you there holding it down. Go. Hell yeah. Okay, we we got this. Uh, let's just shoot forward ahead. I'm glad we have a vehicle for this because there should be. I think is there a. Hunter here? Yeah, there's hunters too. Watch out. 
Oh, oh, I'm so dead. As, that was like on cue. As you said, watch out. Did we get a checkpoint on the elevator? Yes, we did. We okay. did. No, so I'll shoot with you in a second. I'll shoot with you for a second in this plasma cannon, and then I'll jump okay. out. We should maybe be able, if we stay back, we should be okay. If we like strafe back and forth. Because the only thing we got to worry about really is those hunter fuel rods coming at us. I'm going to bail out to give us an angle here. Get some nades on these suckers. I'm getting this height over here. Whoa, I'm so weak. Hold I'm up. down, I'm down. Okay. As a heads up. Cool. So I'll jump out sooner. And maybe I'll I try to... I'm trying to think about what I'll try to do. It's definitely easier when you have the scorpion still. But I'll just support you. Let's take the front line down Sounds first. Good. Uh, this is going to be risky, but I'm doing it. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna definitely die, but you should be okay. I might be able to, I don't even know what the splatter situation I think you're is. Back? Yeah, I'm, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. There's only one hunter left. Nice, this is working well. Just had to full send it, you know? There we go. Sometimes you just gotta go. Just gotta go for it. Gotta go big. Perfect. There we go. I can't bring my wraith, right? No, yeah. no, you can't. Fortunately, it, we're done with the wraith. Okay, I'll let you hit now. this terminal. You know what's coming now? No, what's coming? About to see. I'll let you have the honors. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, good. I thought I fell to my death for a second. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, my. Hop on in. The hatch to the maintenance causeway is jammed. Me and my friend, the Mantis. I got a little bit of a different vehicle. All right, blast that door to smithereens. You got a secondary fire on left trigger, which is going to be four missiles that have to fire in full succession before being reloaded. So as a rule of thumb, oh, okay. you kind of want to shoot them all at the same time. Gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. And then have your reset moments. All right, so once again, uh, you kind of figured we, we were kind of told why earlier, but we are continuing to meet up against Covenant and Prometheans that are all fighting together. Uh, Wait, I think I might have missed that. Did you say why they just the, the like didact? Yeah, really. You kind of hit the nail on the head when you pointed out that you heard elite saying didact. It's essentially that uh, Covenant factions recognize didact uh, as as their gotcha. leader uh, and more than a leader to be honest more of a god um like a so deity. that's why why um we, we see them uh, joining forces so yeah i think even i think um even on legendary i'm pretty sure the mantis can really like destroy here so i'll just i'll just follow and support you uh, oh at night that's the fastest we've killed in that all day man too bad we didn't have this earlier oh i'm getting Nice grunt right behind you. I'm gonna get him. Oh yeah, and if you melee with the mantis, and you might remember from multiplayer, but you do a stomp. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm glad you reminded me. I totally forgot. Any pesky little people at your feet. You can also, don't forget, you can crouch like a spam crouch, if you will. Yeah, don't forget, you can also a uh, little victory crouch on the mantis. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Without a doubt, this is, I'm not sure how much longer this mantis will last, but we're gonna ride it till we till we got no more. All right, so we wanna kill each of these. You can just missile that, like any of them. Yeah, that, that, that neutralize icon. I can get a mantis too here, by the way. You could just, if you hit four missiles on that thing, it should go down right away. Yep, got nice. the okay. last we got... one. Nice, and I got, I'm in a mantis as well now, so I'll come over to you. And then each, each one that you destroy, um, I'll get the middle one from here. I think I can hit it. Perfect. I got the right one. Got the middle one. We're good. So another question for you. Yes. When you started working at 343, was there anything that you learned that like about Halo or Halo lore that completely surprised you? Oh my or, like, gosh. Like what was the biggest surprise? How much, how much time do you have? Um, <laughs> man, let's see. What, what would be the biggest thing? Um, I would say some of the the 
I would say the biggest surprise, and it's not really a surprise, but so much something I didn't have insight to, is the timeline planning that is done years and years in advance. Um, when you talk to someone like Frank O'Connor, uh, Jeff Easterling, uh, people who are contributing to the fiction, the amount that they know about things that have barely even been included in games and fiction mm -hmm. um, is just absolutely incredible. Um, and when you get to hear, for example, when a new Halo game is in pre-production and you get to hear the full story arc and how it even pertains to later tales that will be told, um, just the amount of caretaking and um, stewardship over franchise canon and fiction that's required mm -hmm. is just kind of it's a it's amazing, uh, you know. And you can't you can't help but uh, we got to hit this. I'll hit this button to activate the the Matt Cannon network manually. Yeah. Of course, it, of course, we can't do it automatically. But yeah, I'd say that was probably the maybe the most overwhelming in the best way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like that's a perspective that not. A lot of fans really get. Oh yeah, I think um, it's amazing to be able, especially you know, being being inside the, the building. So being able to hear about all these ideas and questions, and even as it pertains to um, different characters, their history, motivations. Uh, one of the best things is about. Uh, I don't want to talk over it completely. Of course, we were able to chase the didact out. He's vulnerable, and with the Matt cannons online, we chased him out, but being able one of my favorite things is like asking about things like forerunner technology and how mm -hmm. it actually works and even something one sec i'll, I'll, I'll let us watch this cutscene. where the hell did those things come from it's possible that they're native to requiem or whatever counts as native for a forerunner ai mr lasky you take point i want boots on the ground in 60. captain this is the first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. We don't like people talking like that, Chief. No, we do not. Cortana no. definitely doesn't. Look at no, her crossed look at her. arms. She's she not having ain't it. Ain't about it. Okay, well, I actually think this is the perfect time for a break and reset moment presented by Cheese It Grooves. So, Bravo, we there's a lot of stuff happening right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> and we still haven't addressed the Cortana thing. Now mm -hmm. we're going out here. We don't have very much information. I have decided I do not like Del Rio. Nope. He seems like a jerk. I don't have very much respect for this man. Um, but I don't, this is a lot of fun. I'm like very much enjoying it. I'm kind of kicking myself that it's taking me this long to play the game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like you said, we seem to be though, as is so common in Halo campaigns, stacking problem upon problem. So we didn't, we haven't resolved the Cortana issue. Didact's vulnerable, Chief and Cortana want to chase, but Del Rio says get back here and neutralize the gravity well. So we got to do all that yet. Um, so we definitely have a long to-do list. Um, but I got to say, I don't think I've ever ran beginning to end the Halo 4 legendary campaign on co-op uh, either. So um, it's a lot of fun, a little bit of newness for me too. But yeah, so far you're feeling pretty good. Yeah, I like I was saying I'm really, really liking it. I think I like it has me really hyped for whenever Halo Infinite is coming out just because it's like, oh my gosh, we get to do this again. And this is super fun. I mean, um, yeah, I, and it's so great to do it co-op. I mean, like playing these campaigns solo, also fun, but doing a legendary co-op run is there's just something about it. A huge, huge thank you to Bravo for hanging out with me and joining me during my first run through. And a huge thank you to all of you for witnessing my very first Halo 4 campaign playthrough. So let's see if we can complete our playthrough in the next episode. And for all things Halo, you're already in the right place, IGN.com.